Hello, my name is Tom Watson and I'm part of the Dell EMC Integrated Offerings Group. Today I'm going to demonstrate the VxFlex OS CSI driver using Kubernetes version 1.13.2 and the driver uses CSI spec version 1.0. I'm going to show installation of the driver and uh, then I'm going to show a Postgres database deployment example and finally, I'm going to show some snapshot capabilities the driver has. For the installation, there are some prerequisites that are required. Kubernetes version 1.13, uh, some Kubernetes feature gates, Helm because we use a Helm chart in the installation. The VxFlex OS SDC has to be installed on all the nodes. And uh, a Kubernetes secret has to be created for the VxFlex OS credentials. And a YAML file with some configuration options needs to be created. Once all the prerequisites are done, installation is really easy. Uh, we provide a shell script to kick off the installation and install the Helm chart. You can see here that the installation is, dis is uh, creating three pods. A controller that's part of the Kubernetes system that includes the driver, the Kubernetes uh, provisioner, and the Kubernetes attacher, and the Kubernetes snapshotter. And then there's a pod on each minion or worker node, and those pods include the driver and the node driver registrar. You can see that uh, our pods are all up here, and uh, we've created a CSI driver image for the for, for our driver called VxFlex OS and some storage classes that uh, persistent volume claims can point at to, to use the VxFlex OS for creating storage and a volume snapshot class that we will uh, use to create snapshots. The driver's resources are shown here in the Kubernetes dashboard. They're under the VxFlex OS namespace. Let's deploy a replicated Postgres database as an example. To do this, I grabbed a quick Helm chart from the Bitnami uh, site and uh, changed the storage class to VxFlex OS and replication enabled to true. So I would have a master and a slave deployment that would look like this. We'll use the script to get it started and installed. And we'll wait a bit for it to come up. You can see our Postgres deployment here. We have a master pod and a slave pod um, consisting of a stateful set each. And uh, if you look down here, uh, we have persistent volume claims for the volumes. And if you look on the VX Flex OS, these are the two volumes that we're using for the database. We'll let the script go on. It's going to set up port forwarding to enable PSQL connection to the database. And then it uh, inserted some tables from a sample database from the Postgres site, the city database, and did a quick SQL query on the database listing the cities. We had 4,079 rows. For our snapshot example, we're going to do a uh, three-step deployment. Um, we're going to start with step one by deploying two volumes from a persistent volume claim pvol 0 and 1 and we're going to mount those and data 0 and data 1 in a container. For step two we're going to use the snap.1 YAML, the volume snapshot class up the top right and we'll use that specifying the snapshot class name is VxFlexOS snap class and the source volume is pvolume0 to get a snapshot of our first volume. And then for step three, we're going to do an upgrade for the Elm deployment by uh, adding a third persistent volume claim that'll be mounted as slash data two. And uh, we'll use this create from snap YAML persistent volume claim to um, create a volume from the snapshot by specifying the data source as persistent volume snap one and the volume kind is uh, volume snapshot. I'll start a script to do this test. 
and uh, it'll deploy one container, this BX Flex test container here. You can see that our two volumes have been created and are exposed to the container. The container is not up yet. Now the container is up and uh, we'll create a snapshot after displaying. Here's our volumes. Data 0 is mounted and Data 1 is mounted. And here are the contents of Data 0. We tagged it with some Ridge data. We then created a volume snapshot, and our volume snapshot is shown in the VX Flex OS here. After this, we're going to do a Helm upgrade to redeploy the deployment with the third volume, which is created from the snapshot. VX Flex OS can't actually create a volume from a snapshot, so we use another snapshot. We create a second snapshot from the original snapshot, and we can use that new snapshot just as we would any volume. We can expose it to the container, and the container can use it just like a volume. And we'll see it get mapped here in just a second. Uh, the script is, uh, now has three volumes mapped, we can see. And uh, we can see that the contents of data 0 had the original volume in it, and data 2 has the original, which we snapped from the data zero volume and some new data we put in. That concludes this VX Flex OS CSI driver demo. I hope you've enjoyed it. Certainly if you have questions feel free to reach out.